this is your boy Tunchi, this is YBE TV. Today, I got a topic that I hit on before that I want to hit on again. And it is how to start a fleet. We're going to call this part two. Before we get into that, I want to tell you guys, I'm coming out to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, July 26th through the 28th, 2019. We are going to have a ball. It's going to be good information, good food. We're going to party a little bit. We're going to, you know, do some water sports. We're going to enjoy ourselves. It's going to be me, your boy Ghost from uh, Steel Hawking uh, Trucking, uh, Steel Hawking TV, I think, or Steel Hawking Trucking. I know it's Steel Hawking. So uh, he going to be there, uh, Trucker Harley going to be there. We're going to have a ball. We're going to have a lot of good people there. And we're going to have fun. It's actually sold out on the party bus and the water sports. It's pretty much sold out. But we're trying to find room and make room for more people. Uh, last but not least, go to www.ybetv.org slash shop. you get the business credit scores, the business marketing course. The, uh, we got T-shirts, paraphernalia. We got safety vests. We got uh, we do logos. We set up businesses. We do so many things for all your business needs. Go to ybetv.org/shop. Check it out. Make some purchases, man. Check us out. All right. Today we are talking about starting a fleet. Now, there's a lot of things people do to start a fleet. One of the best things that you could do, I say, one of the safest ways you could start a fleet is if you're working for a company, you lease the home to them. Or you got one truck with them and you making boo cool money. You are in an ideal situation. You are in an ideal situation. So what do you need to do now? You can either, you can actually um, use that money. And you can um, use that money right there. And you can start your authority. You can get you a trailer. You can start there. That would be ideal. That would be actually pretty darn great. Because now you got your information out there, you 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 got your, your your logo, you got your business set up, you got everything going, and you've got the business marketing class and the business credit course. You got all those things from YBE TV. You definitely got those from YBE TV. And you know what? When you did that, you started your authority, and now you're signing people on to your authority. And now you're actually making money off people running under your authority. And now you buy more trucks and you get more trailers. And then you get another trailer and you just rent it to somebody that signed on. So you're making money hand over fist. You can definitely do that. You can definitely do that. That is one of the best ways. Now, the step down is this, what a lot of people can do. You find your company you sign on to that's honest, that's going to pay you, that's going to keep you busy. You, you get your truck on now. You get that truck paid off. You go buy you a, you, you find you some drivers with the marketing course from YBETV.org slash shop. Business marketing course. You get that. You get your social media presence up. You, you email marketing. You do all these great things to bring in drivers to fill out applications. And then it hits them. Kabam. You know what? I'm going to get more trucks. And then you talk to the company and say, hey, when you get drivers, if you don't have trucks for them, can you uh, send drivers my way? Sometimes they'll say, well, we'll try to send some drivers your way. I need this truck field. They'll try to help you. Then you got your Craigslist ads. You got all these things going on and you bringing in drivers, put them in the truck, sign them on. You already got a rapport bill with this company. You tell them, hey, this is my truck. I need them to run hard. You run them hard, you make your money. You get more trucks, more trucks signed on, more trucks. You get two, three, four trucks signed on. Now, it's time to get your authority. It's always going to end with you getting your authority unless you just want to be lazy. You want to chill. You find a company that's got a dispatcher that's going to that's going, uh, uh, run that truck the way you need it ran. You got a report bill with that dispatcher. And last but not least, let me tell you one of the key secrets about building a fleet. Butter. What? What? Did I say something wrong? Yes, I said butter. But you, you thought I made a mistake or something? I didn't make no mistake. Butter. After I sip this, I'm about to tell you what butter means. Buttering the dispatcher. You take a dispatcher. He's constantly getting called in the meetings. Told how he will be replaced if that truck, them trucks ain't out there moving. If he's not making so many, uh, uh, so many loads getting booked and so many loads being covered is the word I was looking for, covered. So he's going through all of this heartache, and then the driver's mad at him. My truck haven't ran. 
My truck needs to be fixed. I can't drop this load. Find me someone to get this load now. So he's just sitting there at his desk. He's contemplating quitting and almost suicide. He's like, I should kill myself with a truck. And then you call, you say, hey, Dave, what's going on today? You say, hey, Tune, I really like talking to you, man. What's going on? Man, I don't want to bug you. I want to, uh, you know, in between these lows, I want to just let you know I appreciate you. What what you say? He he got the truck up to his head. <laughs> the truck up to his head. That's hilarious. He got the truck up to the head, and he talking to you. Hey, man, I just want to let you know you guys are doing a great job, man. And, and I, I, I definitely would have to say I wouldn't be as successful as I am. If it wasn't for guys like you, I just want to let you know I appreciate you. He gonna say, "Wait, what? You gonna put the truck down?" <laughs> he gonna say, "I appreciate you. I appreciate everything you do. Every day you come in this place and you 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 get my trucks running on this road and you get me running." Um, I just uh, called to give you this uh, number real fast. Could you write it down? Like, uh, yeah, go ahead, take this number five zero five five seven three six eight. Two six nine eight two three one seven six two. Like okay, now what is this number for? Is this like a, a a confirmation number or a load number? You say no, that's a tracking number. He gonna say a tracking number. Say yeah, that's a tracking number. Uh, be probably today or tomorrow you should be getting the package from me. It's from me, from nobody else. That's to show my appreciation. He gonna say what? Say yeah, that's a tracking number. I just wanna let you know. That what you do, the service that you do, does not go unnoticed. And I just want to thank you, from me and my family, to thank you. Buy him a little 32 inch TV. Buy him something nice. Buy him his, trick him into telling you his favorite movie and go find it and send it to him. Send tickets for him and his family to go to the new Avengers movie. Do something nice to show that you appreciate that dispatcher. Every blue moon. And that dispatcher will keep you busy it's your boy Tunchi giving you the game telling you about parts to a fleet signing off YBTV if you don't want to end up in the box think outside of it YBTV drug dealing and killing is going on in my town yeah don't take a killer to kill or a driller to drill she just being yourself is the definition of real